Ready? And God bless you. guys um hope that you guys had a great christmas wanted to touch base with you real quick to uh prove to you that i am among the living and uh just to share with you a little bit you know even with covid we still got to have a lot of our christmas traditions we were blessed uh, like reading the night before christmas late on christmas eve is one of our favorite things to do do you guys have any christmas movies that you watch or christmas traditions that are your favorites uh, maybe for some of you it's a Christmas movie like it's a wonderful life or National Lampoon's Christmas vacation or maybe home alone or for some of you uh, it's die hard or the gremlins or something like that but a new tradition that we've added the last couple years has been the advent wreath and uh, apart from coming to Grace Summit we knew about the advent wreath but we never were part of a church that did that and so uh, it's been a neat thing, a good experience, something that we've grown a lot with as each candle bears an important reminder. And as I reflect on each one, each one has been helpful these last few days for Sarah and I. The first candle is hope. Christ Christmas swells with hope as the faithful in ages past looked forward to a Savior to come and to redeem them. And although we're on this side of the cross, we and have experienced the mystery of redemption in the body, we still have that anticipation. We still have uh, that feeling of longing for the Savior to come and to complete the redemption process. Even the most victorious believer experiences this body of death, a body that breaks down, a body that gets COVID, and we still long for a Savior to make things right. And so even in the midst of all this, we have experienced hope. The second candle is peace. Christmas reminds us of peace, of course, because Christ was called the Prince of Peace. Although his coming really naturally brought divisions, even among households, peace is a fruit of the Spirit that all Christians should have and should experience. We long for peace, not a contrived peace full of compromise and deceit, but a true harmony and rest from conflict. Don't you long for that this Christmas season? 
Don't you long for that going into the next year? The third uh, candle is the one of joy. And you know, the irony is not lost to me that as I took the pulpit on Sunday morning, I had this sort of humorous take on COVID, not, not to deny its seriousness or its reality, but we were having fun. We were saying COVID can't destroy Christmas. And we talked about the COVID in Grinchy terms of something kind of um, anthropomorphic that was looking to destroy our Christmas. You know, even as I said those words on Sunday, I had no earthly idea that I would be spending my Christmas with COVID. And I've thought many times that God is causing me to act out my own words. It's not the first time that's happened. Probably won't be the last time that's happened. But, you know, I don't regret what I said. Trust me, there have been much laughter this Christmas, even with COVID. And I've had to holler at the kids, too. Uh, but that's part of the gig as well. But in all things, we strive for joy, even in hardship. And the fourth candle is love. When Paul stacks up faith, hope, and love, he says the greatest of these is love. That's because love is at the core of everything God expects us to be. We To love God with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength, and to love our neighbor as ourself. And this Christmas, we feel loved. We've had so many Christmas angels come to drop goodies off. Some of them heard me hollering at my kids. That was fun. Uh, but we're fully stocked. I want you to know we're staying hydrated and we receive the blessing so that later we can be a blessing to others. And so I hope that you've had a great Christmas and I really look forward to being back in service as a church Wednesday, January 6th and Sunday, January 10th with or without me. But uh, hope that we will be there and hope everything will go well. I hope that y'all are staying healthy. Uh, that first day was a little scary, but after that, just right now, uh, things have progressed good day by day. So we appreciate your prayers and pray that God might bless you this next week. Mm -hmm.